Hello all, welcome to my channel. In this video, we will discuss about what is the difference between this dot test and this dot current test. We'll try to understand uh, this difference in detail. We will also discuss some of the common fields and methods that we use regularly. So let's get started. Let me go back to my VS code. I'll create a new folder called Mocha this. Now let me create a file test.js and in this file let me create a describe first. Describe my test suit come on I think function and then let's create an it let me call it uh, test amazon home page navigation let me create a function Now this is my test suit and this is my test case. Now let's try to understand uh, what is this dot test. Let me print that console dot log this dot test. Now let's print and see uh, what do we get if we run this. Now let me go back to package dot json create one more tag and a script call it mocha dot slash mocha this if i find time out let me give 20 seconds cd web driver jsv1 and now let me run our npm command npm run test our test execution started and it printed an object so this dot test object let's see it let me copy it let me create a new file a json file object.json let me paste the content here now this is our test object it says type test and uh, the second one is title so this is the same name as what we have what we gave in our it block test amazon home page navigation so if we want title of this test we need to give this dot test dot title now this is body so this will if we give this dot test dot body it will print our entire uh, function so whatever is written in this function right the code present in it so it will print that now the other important thing that we may require is you can also see how many retries we have defined for it uh, and the next important thing is file now let me go back here let me print that as well now file will uh, give you the location of this uh, test file in this current uh, in your machine so it will give the entire path of this test file and then the next uh, important thing is title of your parent so for this it right what is a parent this is described now if i say console dot log this dot test dot parent dot title now i'll get this name now there is one more method that i will give us this title which is dot log this dot test dot full title 
now what is the difference between this and this is this will give you only the name of your describe this dot test dot parent dot title now this will give you the name of your uh, describe plus the name of your test that is the difference now let's run and then see let me close this npm run test see if it it has printed all these details first it has printed the test title and then the test path and then my describe title so whatever is there here and then the complete uh, title of describe and test combine my test suit test amazon home page navigation now similarly right we can use this dot test in our hooks as well let me call after each async function let me do console log this dot test now let, let's run this again let me comment out all this code now this time we have a different object that is printed and this says so if you look at the title right, it says after each hook for test amazon home page navigation and then the hook contains a body right so the function body it is printing it here so typically in the, after uh, each hook right uh, you will worry about uh, the current test object not the hook object so this this dot test right if we call it in after hook after each hook so it will only print the after each hook details now if you want your test details right what you have to call is this dot current test now this will point you to the details of this particular it now if you want the title of the test that is being executed right you can uh, call this similarly you can execute the other methods as well so whatever we have executed here right uh this dot parent dot title this dot uh, yep now if we call these things here they will give you the same output when they are called here but the only difference is here we are using test object here we are using current test object let me clear my screen and run it again so if you look at it it has given us the same details but this time we are getting these details from after each hook similarly we get these details from we can get these details from before each hook as well let me comment out these things and run our test again so if you look at this we got all these details now one more important thing that we need to get in after each hook right once our test case execution is completed we need to understand uh, the status of the execution sometimes we need based on that we will you know log something in our reporting files or take some screenshots or when you're working with selenium or cypress now if you want to do it right if you want to understand or get the status of your uh, test that is already executed right we can get that in after each okay so for that console.log this dot current test dot state so you need to call this now if the test case is passed right, it, will, it, will, it will return pass if the test case is failed right, it will return failed let me run it so it is returning pass now let me throw an error here in this test case so error 
test. Now let me run this again. Now the after is work, right? It returned failed. The test status has failed. Now you can equate this. Uh, what you can do is you can write an if else statement like this if the state of the test is equal to failed. Perform your actions here. Uh, else if it is passed, right? Uh, you can perform your actions for past status. So this is how you use uh, current test and test objects. And this is the main difference between uh, test and current test. That's it for this video. Hope this is helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.